I'm talking about here today that what I do before I start uh, even writing the script. But first I show some, something I have done. This is called Wind and Storm. It's a story about rape. Most of all it's a friend's reaction to the news that um, their friend has been raped. When I work I want to uh, n know the, like in, in this situation, know the subculture where I put the story in and meet people from that, from those bars. Uh, this is a love story of two 16-year-old girls and they are boxers. I met quite a lot of uh, interviewing with a female boxer. I was asking about the rules of the boxing match, how they decide there who's the winner. And also I went to see the uh, young girls boxing match because I wanted to, to also to be that it's realistic. If you make something, draw a realistic style, it, um, everyone notices the boxing gloves are just like something balls. In the <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to like learn everything uh, about the clubs and uh, how is the boxing ring built. This is uh, about using some actual information, like facts in the comics. And I use that uh, quite much. This is uh, about the story about Finland. There's a text that um, uh, two thirds of the whole land is forest. And it starts from the back uh, yard of the uh, houses. This, if, there's just the information that there's so much uh, forest in Finland, but I, I wanted to use a fact like really, it's really just a fact. But then, uh, same time, it says a lot about the country, and also, and I wanted to put the feeling, uh, what it is to me, in the picture. Uh, but only the, in the text, there's only the fact. I, this in the, this picture is about uh, the seasons. How do people try to uh, cope with the uh, with the changing seasons? But the animals do it better. And this is when the spring. It's the first day of spring, and you have here quite uh, dark and long winter too. So this feeling, what it feels like. When the spring comes, people go crazy. <laughs> and I also wanted to show the feeling when you see the first time these birds in the springtime. And actually she's crying because she's so happy to hear those birds. Also here, the colors are wrong. But I use the same technique that I tell about the place I live. A picture of the place I live, and here says only the name of the place, Hervanta, 25,000 inhabitants, uh, 76 nationalities. So then you know what, you might have an idea what kind of place it is. I don't have to show it that uh, I am like try to make it shorter with the text, but still the reader has idea what kind of place it is. For the short stories like this, some of these, uh, I like to like do some research to get into the mood or into the time or place. And I use a lot of my own experience too. Uh, I feel that uh, on the most of the situations, I am the good expert for my life. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I use a lot of my own emotions to, if I have a strong feeling about something, I'm angry, I'm really happy, I'm really proud of something. Uh, I, for me, the way to deal with the feeling is to make a story about it. Like someone else uh, makes a song or someone writes the book, I do a story about it. The latest work I have done this, uh, this year actually is the book about my hometown, Tampere, in Finland. There's nine stories of nine different families in a different time. This is cooperation with the uh, city museum of Tampere. Uh, here I am actually already drawing the comic, but before that 
there was a lot of, uh, I, I was reading a lot about these times in history, talking with the uh, people from the museum, asking about how was life in different times. And on the wall there's a um, lot of pictures of the families of the nine from the 19, from the beginning of the uh, 20th century. I have here the picture of the family, it's my drawing, and I use that for, uh, to I so that I remember what kind of clothes they, so I have in every picture the same clothes. And then pictures are from the collection from the museum photograph. This is also on the wall, the script, and the picture from the, some uh, houses. There was a lot of things to tell, uh, like uh, to find like what kind of houses, what kind of clothes they were, what they were wearing, and of course uh, how they were living their life, what kind of uh, spoons they used. Uh, this is from the museum and it was a picture from the wartime, and I've used the same like building here. I think in works like this, it's easier to have a lot of pictures than trying to uh, just imagine yourself. Uh, here, these are actually from the museum. They had these silver, and I had them here on the table. So I didn't have to imagine what kind of coffee cups they have. I tried to find if there were some houses still left, and I used the I, the like, existing house here. Uh, in the l last story is about uh, like <coughs> two years ago. This jazz band is in the story. And that was the only story where there was actually people who uh, really exist. Most all the characters were like uh, fiction, but they, they were people that could be in that time, like uh, typical people of that time. But not, not only when I have done something in the history to in the history comics I have used like a lot of photos because I sometimes feel that if you do something that really exists it's um, for me I, I like to um, show it to the reader and if they know the place they, they recognize it and I don't have to tell them that this is the factory by the lake and also using uh, photos like this is me here and my friend and I just took a photo like this and use it as a model. This is just part of the one story and they are speaking about the factory. And this is actually the place where I have my studio and uh, there's rumors that they will break it down, the factory, and build something else there. That's why I wanted to show that it's a really beautiful place. And I actually went to on the roof of the building to draw. I was drawing it outside on the roof. But uh, I, I still um, changed the reality a little more. Uh, I left the, all the cars, there was cars pa parked on the, on the yard, but I didn't draw them because I didn't think that they were really beautiful. <laughs> this is just an example. Uh, how I like to work. This is a story, and it's. Uh, I was uh, traveling in Ireland, in Galway, and I. I am. Uh, but this is. Uh, I made this after, afterwards, and I wanted to have this bridge in the comic, and I didn't have any pictures. So I find the map of the goal, the town, and then see the name of the bridge and put that name on the. Google, uh, when you should try to find pictures, and there was a lot of pictures of the bridge. Maybe it's not important in this comic that uh, everyone knows that this is exactly the bridge. But for me it was important because it was my memory about this moment. And um, also uh, it's part of like getting into the story. Uh, collecting all this information. Like when I did the his, history of my hometown, it was also getting into the history, like with all the pictures and reading about it and discussing with the museum, museum people with it.
Do you have any other hobby besides drawing comics? Uh, no, I don't have even time to go boxing anymore. <laughs> yeah, actually I have. I'm doing um, carpentry. It's fun because I can do something like useful and use big tools, not with a small pen. <laughs> I'm working on the story about the old house in in Tampere, but also the way people were living earlier uh, was more people were more together. Like the house was like a small village, but now people don't, like neighbors don't know each other. There's a lot of loneliness in Finland, a lot of uh, mental uh, illness, and a lot of alcoholism and uh, a lot of suicides and I feel the one thing is also, also that uh, people are really lonely and no, nobody even noticed if you, uh, yeah, if something happens and your no neighbor doesn't even know in a week. But I'm still just interviewing all, all people, old people and people who have been living in this one house which was um, more like a commune, yes. And also reading about loneliness in the society. Bye, Siva.